Today, we're going to discuss a race which is deceptively essential to the galactic order. With their short stature and general tendency to avoid direct violence, they've earned themselves a few affectionate nicknames among the other races, as well as some less affectionate ones, which we will not disclose at this time. We aren't emotionless, uncaring monsters here, at least not on Tuesdays. So let's not waste any more time, our race this week is the Volus. Hailing from the planet Irun, the Volus are a short, stocky race of beings. Due to the high pressure, high gravity and high ammonia content of Irun, they are forced to wear environmental suits when venturing to other worlds and environments, not entirely unlike those worn by the Corians. But unlike the Corians, however, Volus physiology is far more sensitive to foreign environments. While a puncher in a Quarian suit will usually result in little more than a bad infection, a Volus suit puncture can cause his or her skin to literally split open. Thanks to their suits, and by their inability to survive on most worlds aside from their own, little else is known about the Volus biologically. However, it is worth noting that many of their species are able to harness biotic abilities so at least Element Zero seems to affect Volus in a similar way to most other races. Volus are primarily known as a client race to the Turians, but a slightly lesser known fact states that they are also responsible for establishing the galactic standard credit currency. Being the third race to find the Citadel, after the Asari and Salarians, the Volus quickly earned their place by stabilising and maintaining the galactic economy and establishing the universal credit with their unified banking act. With this financial structure and any pre-established currency can still be used without losing any value for an obscure exchange rate. They finally secured their position by signing a client agreement with the Turians, essentially offering their financial knowledge and tax payments in exchange for protection given by the Turian military. A more controversial aspect of Volus history involves their lack of a seat on the Citadel Council. They were quickly offered an embassy after their initial arrival, but as of yet have not been deemed worthy to join the ranks of the Citadel's ruling races. The criteria to be considered for the Citadel Council includes the ability to offer aid in the form of military force, as well as resources in crisis situations. While the Volus are incapable of providing such aid, many insist that their financial contributions to the galaxy have more than made up for it, and that the rules should be adjusted to reflect this. The tendency for Volus to resolve issues financially rather than violently is reflected in their own culture. Laws have been passed to completely outlaw war on their homeworld, with disputes being resolved through deals or other relatively peaceful means. In this way, Volus are essentially pacifists, and some species look down on them for that. But even so, every race knows the galaxy would fall apart without them. When speaking to a Volus, one of the first things one tends to notice, aside from the constant sound of breathing through the air filters, don't laugh, they hate that, You're mocking me, Earth Clan. is how they formally refer to other individuals. For instance, they will call a human stranger Earth Clan. This is the Volus version of family names. Their belief is that one should not give their family name to an offspring, as it implies ownership over the individual. As such, while each Volus has a first and last name, two members of the same family will not share either. Contrary to popular belief, the Volus do indeed have a military force. They just generally keep to the skies, specialising in bomber units. Their client race status with the Turians allows for a well-coordinated relationship on the battlefield, with Volus providing air support while leaving the ground assaults to the Turians. However, just as the Turians also have naval forces, the Volus don't exclude themselves from the battlefield entirely. Though the use of special suits, sometimes including power armour, 
biotics and practical weapons, it is not entirely unheard of to see a Volus battalion on the ground. Sure, the Volus need help from time to time, but you know when everyone else needs help from them. All the time. Without the Volus, the galaxy would have no structure, no financial stability, and no biotic gods. I don't think anyone wants to live in a universe like that, so count your blessings and go hug a Volus today. I'm going to give one small Volus mention today, due to him possibly having a bigger alter ego than the Reaper Sovereign. But Niftu Karl from Mass Effect 2 is met on Ilium, and as mentioned in this video, claims to be a biotic god. His character was done very well, and you can instantly call his bluff when he almost falls over after being lightly pushed by Shepard. It is likely that Niftu was given the illegal biotic enhancing drugs Minigen X3 and possibly also Red Sand by the Eclipse mercenaries. After some amazing and hilarious dialogue, Niftu is either pitted against a powerful biotic Asari or is given a knock on the head by Shepard. Whether you made the Paragon or Renegade decision, I hope you were satisfied with the outcome. So due to the lack of mentions, we have a couple of fun facts for you as well. But the small, rod-like objects hanging from the hips of most Volus are likely spare canisters of the compound used to maintain the environment inside their suits. And aside from the obvious fan service, Volus were added to Mass Effect 3's multiplayer to give players a support class that emphasised boosting team score over personal score, thus allowing for more strategy options. So, are there any Volus fans out there? Any Volus haters? Anyone who just really loves the word Volus? And do you reckon the Volus will appear in Andromeda? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, leave a like if you enjoyed this video or learned some new awesome facts. And subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content here at Mass Effect Follower. Thank you for spending this time with us and we await to see you in a future video. Goodbye everyone.